When you think of a utility sled, what comes to mind? Well, actually, you know what? Don't tell me, because for the longest time, it hasn't been anything that gets me even remotely excited. It seems like we haven't got utility sleds mixed up with trail sleds, well, just about ever. It's just not the same. But for 2015, Polaris has found a way to blend more than just trail and utility. They also threw in a little sprinkle of off-trail capability, as well as a dash of low snow usability, and rounded it all out in one heck of a stylish looking ride. Sure, utility is pretty typically mellow, but when Polaris mated the 155 inch snow shovel with this Pro Ride chassis, they gave us everything that we need to get the job done, and most importantly, do it while having fun. The beautiful 155 inch articulated rear suspension allows this adventure to do just that and add venture anywhere your heart desires. Thanks to articulating rear rails, the rear suspension actually lifts up when you put it into reverse, helping this extra long sled feel, well, extra not long. Okay, it's still a pretty long track, but when those rails tip, you reduce reverse trenching, make backing up over obstacles easier, and still receive all of the benefits of a mountain sled flotation. Possibly the best of both worlds. In my mind, I knew that the 155 would offer great flotation, and I knew that the articulating rear rails would help with backing up. But what about overheating and trail riding characteristics? Because 155s typically aren't known for either. While you may expect to see a 2.25 lug on this beast, and that's pretty much the standard short lug for a 155, this is not so on the adventure. Delivered with a new 1.6 inch Camoplast Cobra, the trail handling is still very manageable. And because this adventure is outfitted with the Peppy 550 fan, you don't really have to worry at all about overheating the motor. Sliders, well, you still have to keep an eye on them. While we're on the topic of the 550 fan, you need to realize that this isn't some old technology motor that's been thrown into a new chassis. This motor is purpose-built and delivers on all fronts. Polaris engineers spent a lot of time and effort making this little 550 produce ponies. From the Nikasil line cylinders to the CV Tech Power Block 50 primary and Invance secondary clutches, you'll be pulling the side panel off to see if somebody at the factory made a mistake. While it's not a 130 horse liquid, it leaves you feeling significantly satisfied. And speaking of satisfied, if you want the ultimate in off-trail capability, as well as an impressive front suspension, well, why wouldn't you grab the front clip from an RMK? While you may not be able to actually focus on the front suspension due to your fixation on the snowboards mounted up front, the RMK front end is there. Yes, it does use some cheaper tech RideFX MPV shocks, but they do a surprisingly good job of settling out the trail chatter and off-trail impacts. And your stance is wide enough due to the RMK geometry. Back to the snowboards up front. Yes, these are actually skis, and yes, you may be able to take them to your local ski hill, attach a set of bindings, and go for a quick ride down the slopes. Strange, weird, huge, awkward, and fat. Not nice things to call someone, but when you're referring to the pro float skis, you'd be right on track. Totaling the square footage of a midtown Manhattan apartment, these skis deliver 9.5 inches of width per side. 410 square inches of total area, and a ludicrous amount of flotation. While you're not gonna be winning any beauty pageants with these boats strapped on the front end, you will always stay atop the snow. And with the optional pro paddle, you can always use your skis as a summertime canoe and get four seasons of fun out of your new 155 adventure. Due to the sheer size of the 155, there's an impressive amount of real estate out back, and it gives you a great place to mount all of your important gear. And thanks to an early season ordered cargo rack that comes right from the factory, you don't even have to buy an accessory rack, though Pure Polaris does offer all kinds of cool accessories. For utility users and adventurers alike, this rack is essential. Whether you're strapping on fishing tackle or utilizing the storage boxes with the waterproof interior bags, there are few things this rack and cargo system can't do, except possibly rival the square inches of the Pro Float skis. The adventure is all about answering the most amount of questions with just one single sled, and the list of features that come standard on this vehicle sum it all up quite nicely.
The big windshield is warm and functional, but still small enough to look good and not hit every branch and twig you see. The included trailer hitch is ready to pull. The extreme front bumper is excellent for grabbing a hold of when you went too far in somewhere you shouldn't have, and the standard electric start makes frequent starts as simple as the turn of a key. Truly the adventure is ready for, well, the adventure that you are. I've said it once, and you know what? I'm gonna say it again. If MacGyver had a snowmobile, this would be it. And if he spent any time riding it, he would quickly realize he no longer needs that Swiss Army knife he carries around everywhere, because this snowmobile can truly do it all. If you like this video, post a comment and tell us what you think. Then click on this link to subscribe to Snowtracks TV here on the YouTube channel.